right, guys, we went back to the track. Uh, got a, a, a personal best with the with the failing trains that that's on its way out still yet. Plus, we were spinning the tires on the fastest pass. Uh, here's the videos. guys let's go over a couple of the time slips uh this is a 10, a 10 4 pass right here 155 uh, these are just testing tunes so don't pay no attention to the reaction that has zero to do with the overall et that's only only uh comes in to play when you're actually in a race because you want to beat somebody off the line so don't pay attention to that uh 155 60 foot eighth miles down because that's where the transmission is messing up and about the eighth mile so my mile an hour fluctuates in the eighth see here here is the fastest pass 60 foot is down because it spun off the line as you can see in the video i was actually shocked that it actually still went that fast as much as it spun uh but the highest it's been in the eighth is 106 uh but these are the, the best times here, 672 in the eighth here. Uh, almost 134 mile an hour, but that is the best so far. And this is on a, a Hurt Trans, it's on its way out. Uh, it's just starting to fail, so it. Okay, this is the last pass. As you can see right here, it hung the gear there. It actually hung, hung it for decent amount of time right there so and it's banging gears hard on the on these pa on this last pass right here the transmission was not happy got a little worse as the day went on uh 
just wasn't happy. Let's see. Again, here's my peak boost right there. Uh, the car averages between 12 and a half to 13 pound of boost. Just depends on the weather outside, cooler temperatures. Uh, and if some of you know, they'll make a little more boost. Uh, as they say, boost weather in the winter time and stuff. But just wanted to show you the logs real quick, just on that to prove that the transmission is hanging and stuff. This car does have more in it. Just gotta get a built trans and get it lined out. Okay, this is the fastest pass. The one that it spun on and it also hung a gear. This dip right here, it hung a gear. These these are your shift points. This is where it, the transmission's shifting. So I'll tell you real quick. That is second to third where it hung the gear. Yep, second to third shift. So, open up another one. All right, guys, just wanted to show you some of the logs real quick, just to show you. Uh, this is like the second pass of the day. Now, my car's supposed to shift 65, 6600 RPM. That's first gear, as you can see right there. Now we'll go to second gear. Find the peak here. Before it shifts. It's short shifting. 6,000. So then go to third. It's pulling. Then it starts to slip a little bit, drop some RPM. Yeah, then it point, uh, pulls again. Okay, now we'll open up the 10-4 pass. All right, guys, as you've seen, we took it to the track. Uh, DA was around 900 when I got there, and when I made the 10-4 pass, it was, or 10-4-0 pass, it was in the 1400s, roughly. Uh, still wasn't negative DA, plus was fighting with the transmission. Um, and it actually spun on the quickest pass. So if it did not spin on that pass, I think it would have went a 10-3 to a 10-2 pretty easy. Um, still the transmission's hurting it. You've seen it hung a gear. Um, the more passes I ran, the worse it got. I've sent logs to my tuner. I always do. I always go back and forth. He's got it the best he can get it. Um, it's just at that point, I, I pushed pushed it too much, which I've, I've put a lot of miles on this transmission and they've pretty much all been wide open throttle, beating the piss out of it. Um, like I've said in my past videos, anytime you push a stock HP70 over 700 wheel, um, it's on borrowed time. Don't matter who tunes it, doesn't matter. It will fail eventually. Um, but this car needs a built transmission and I think I'm gonna go up a little more on the stall converter. It's got a Mopar 1320 converter in it now. It'll flash around 25 to 2600 RPM at best. I'll probably go up to around at least a 32 to 34 max. Um, it is a street strip car. I'm not getting it out, none of that. Uh, but if this, I, I truly believe if this car the way it sets without, it's still on 93 octane. I haven't put it on E85 or nothing yet. So I can still drop down a pulley, two pulley sizes, plus put it on E85 and retune it, uh, and so forth. But the plan is to get a built transmission this winter and probably go up a little bit on the stall converter and take it back to the track and run it again on uh, 93 to see what we can actually get. Then, then retune it on E85 and put my smaller pulley on and we'll go for, uh, see how deep we can get in the nines with it. We can get in the nines with it. Then we'll see, I may upgrade the head unit in, then we'll just see where it's at. 
But this car, I truly believe, on 93 octane with a transmission that's 100% in negative DA at the track in the right conditions, uh, same power it's at right now, way it sets, I think this car will go a low 10 to, if not, a high 9-9. A high nine nine. I've still got all the seats in it. I have never pulled the seats out of it. It's full weight other than the drag pack. So... It's, it's not too bad. It's just a transmission of holding it back. It's hit and miss. Like I've said, done numerous logs. Log it at the track, everything. The transmission has just reached the failing point. It's starting to fail. Once they start really failing and, and getting worse and worse, they start throwing codes. Uh, they go in lint mode and everything else when you go full throttle. Uh, but... A lot of people don't understand, guys, that, that the weather plays a huge, huge factor in drag racing and anything. Um, just the weather being cooler like that, we, we've picked up another tenth or so, and with the hurt transmission. Uh, if it was in a negative DA, which I, I wish it was, we'd have probably picked up another tenth or two again. But with the transmission being like that, it's just hard to do anything and get consistent. It hang, it's trying to hang a gear, plus it's slipping around third in the eighth mile and stuff. That's where, that's where the cars are hurting the worst is I leave the line fine, then about after, close to the 3.30 mark, a little after, about almost the eighth mile, it starts, starts either slipping or it, it, it hangs a gear. Um, the last time out, it wasn't hanging a gear, it was just trying to slip. Now it's starting to hang the gears. Once they start doing that, then it starts wanting to go into lint mode. And they throw uh, incorrect gear ratio codes and all that. Uh, th then she's really done. But, just decided to take it out, just try it one more time, even though the transmission screwed up. But like I said, numerous tunes, numerous logs, just done what we can with the stock transmission. It's actually pushed beyond what a stock one is rated for, as far as the transmission. So this is probably gonna be it for this video, guys. I doubt we go any more, uh, go to the track anymore this year. They're pretty much done. They're just doing like small testing tunes here and there, depending on the weather. But plan is to get a built transmission, a little bit bigger stall, take it back. Hopefully it's really, really good weather and see what we could do on 93 pump gas before I turn it up. Then we'll put it on some E85, put the smaller pulley on and see where it takes it. Then possibly after that, put a little bit bigger head you on head unit on it but that's going to be it for this video like share and subscribe thanks